So you do have to have their inspectors come in. And I specifically have never had a property fail uh, for uh, a soup can being what holds up the countertop because I have not thus far been lucky enough to have any properties where a soup can is holding up the countertop. Uh, a for effort. Great points for ingenuity on this one, folks. But there is going to have to be some work. That's why I love Youngstown, man. Nowhere. Nowhere in America, other than some of these cash flow markets I bring to you guys here on Holton Wise TV, can you pick up this kind of rental income for this kind of price? And I love, I love four-unit apartment buildings for investors. I think four-unit apartment buildings for investors, especially newer investors, is by far the best type of apartment building you can get. Welcome to the Investment Properties sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't watch to you giving it to you straight you know why i love youngstown y'all you know why i love youngstown because the cash flow out there is crazy man if we are down with the section 8 program y'all we gonna make some money, some money with this four unit apartment building I got for y'all today. 839 East Indianola, all right? Four unit apartment building, I'm offering it to you guys at 159.9, folks. That's why I love Youngstown, man. Nowhere, nowhere in America, other than some of these cash flow markets I bring to you guys here on Holton Wise TV, can you pick up this kind of rental income for this kind of price. And I love, I love four-unit apartment buildings for investors. I think four-unit apartment buildings for investors, especially newer investors, is by far the best type of apartment building you can get. I think a four-unit apartment building is better than a single family, it's better than a duplex, and it's better than a triplex. All that should make sense to you because you're like, oh, well, that makes sense. Four red checks is better than three, which is better than two, which is better than one. Yes, we're all on the same page there, but guess what? I also think the four-unit apartment building is better than a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve-unit apartment building. You may ask yourself, why? Why is that, James? Why is a four-unit better than a five-unit? If a four-unit is better than a three-unit because four rent checks are better than three rent checks, how in the hell is a four-unit better than a five? Wouldn't five rent checks be better than four rent checks? I'll tell you why, folks. This is why a four unit is also better than a five unit. The reason a four unit is better is because it's not just about buying a property with more rent checks. It's about buying the property at the right price at the right time with the right financing. And there is no better way to finance real estate than with a residential 30 year mortgage. Fixed interest, 30 year loan, you put down 25%, the bank kicks in 75%, you get to pay it off over 30 years. Okay, that's the best financing. There is no other financing in the game hard money, private money, blah, blah, blah money, oh, whatever, bridge loans, all these crazy loans people are talking about. Nothing beats the conventional mortgage, okay? Nothing in the commercial space beats it, right? Here's the deal. You cannot qualify for one of those conventional mortgages on any building that is bigger than four residential units, folks. So if we're talking about picking up a building with the very best financing, okay, four is going to be as big as we can go. So what we can do with a four-unit building is maximize the amount of rent checks while also still qualifying for the very best financing. That, folks, is why the four unit is the absolute best. You cannot get more rent than four rent checks a month and still get a 30-year loan. If you go to a five unit, a six unit, a seven unit, et cetera, you have to go commercial financing. In today's market, today's economy, you're definitely not getting a 30-year loan. You might get a 30-year amortization that you got to pay off in five years with a fat balloon at the end, which really means during that first five years, all you've done is pay interest, and then you get to basically pay off your entire principal with the balloon, right? Because the way they do it, folks, is if you ever actually paid attention to an amortization schedule on a 30-year amortization, the first seven years of that loan, it's like 99% interest, 1% principal, right? You could have like a $700 payment and like $696 of that is going towards your interest, right? It is incredibly front-loaded with interest, okay? So when you get these commercial loans where you got to pay them off in five years, dude, like you didn't get to uh, do what the, 
one of the greatest things that real estate investors get to do when they purchase uh, rental real estate through financed money. You get to have the tenants pay off your loan for you. That's, that's the name of the game. But if you're doing an amortization on like a 25, 30 year schedule, but you have to pay it off fully in five years with that balloon payment, you didn't get to have the tenant pay anything off for you. All they did is pay the bank. The only person that made money is the bank, not you, right? That's why new rental property investors, folks need to pay attention to four unit buildings. Now, once you get 10 of these residential mortgages, from there you can move on to other stuff because you're no longer able to qualify for these great residential mortgages. But if you are a person out there watching my show right now and you have not exhausted your 10 residential mortgages, you need to look no further than four unit buildings, four unit buildings like this one that are going to cash flow like a monster. Now, as you've been watching the show, I'm sure you've been uh, seeing the same footage that I've seen, right? The same footage we've seen when my team went in there. And you've noticed something. Uh, this particular building is not in the greatest shape in the world. Obviously, it's not in the greatest shape in the world, folks. You should have known that for two reasons. Number one, the price I offered it to you is dirt friggin' cheap, one fifty nine nine. dollars Number two, the current landlord, mom and pop guy, is renting his units for dirt cheap, right? 400 400 425 450 The guy's on the phone with me when we were talking about selling this thing. He's like, I haven't had a vacancy in eight years. Well, yeah, I know, dog, because you're giving away the apartments for half of what they cost. If I went and I started selling the same double cheeseburger that McDonald's is selling for a dollar, I started selling it for a quarter. I bet you I'd sell a hell of a lot more hamburgers than the guy across the street, right? But the problem is I should be getting a dollar for him, right? So he should actually be getting eight seventy-five a pop, right? Because what we need to do is get some Section 8 tenants in there. So what you want to do, folks, is you want to slowly turn this building over. What I would do is I would slowly raise these tenants' rents until we could eventually get get them up to market rent. Maybe some of them, I'd say probably half of them will probably end up staying. You do like a hundred bucks a year till they get to market rent. And then you don't have to turn that person's unit over. You don't want to go too fast because then they'll move out and you got to spend some money turning it over, right? So if you go slow, I bet you'll eventually get half of those tenants in this building up to market rent without a turnover. And then the other two that do move out, most likely move out, you'll have to renovate their units, get them ready to section eight standards. Like uh, over here, as you see, like this countertop, uh, this countertop is being held up by a soup can. Now, I don't know how familiar with some of you guys are uh, with the Section 8 program, but uh, Section 8, they do do inspections uh, prior to authorizing uh, the voucher for that unit uh, for their tenant and for you, the landlord, right? So you do have to have their inspectors come in. And I specifically have never had a property fail uh, for uh, a soup can being what holds up the countertop because I have not thus far been lucky enough to have any properties where a soup can is holding up the countertop. But I will tell you this, having sold over $200 million worth of rental properties in this area, uh, a soup can holding up the countertop is going to be a violation. Uh, they will not approve this for Section 8 until we actually get wood holding up that countertop as opposed to the soup can. Uh, a for effort, great points for ingenuity on this one, folks, but there is going to have to be some work. So this is why it is so important uh, that we slowly raise those rents to get them up to market so you don't just have all four of your tenants immediately move out and then you got to drop 10, 20K into each of the units, right? That's why the smart landlord uh, goes, you don't keep them half of market rent, folks, but you want to get them up to market rent over a slow uh, sl slow time period so the tenants don't move out and you got to spend all that money renovating it, right? Because eventually you're going to have to replace the soup can with some wood and that's going to cost you some money, right? So I want to keep money coming into your pockets. I don't want you guys to be in a rush to kick out all the income that's coming in and then just spend a bunch more money. You don't need to do that too quick. But over to long haul, eventually you're going to get this sucker that you could buy from me today for $159.9. You're going to get it up to 3500 bucks a month in rent, and you're going to be on that beautiful 30-year loan, folks. It's going to be sweet. If that sounds good to you, it sounds good to me, I need you to send your offer to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com. If you want to pay cash, great. Send us an email. Hey, man, I want to buy that building. 160 k cash. Here's my proof of funds. Sales at HoldenWise.com. If you want to finance it with one of those beautiful 30-year notes, that's awesome too. Same deal. Hey, man, I want to finance it. Here's my pre-approval letter. Send it to sales at HoldenWise.com. Let's get a deal done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.